To prepare the cylinder liner for assembly, the sealing face must be clean and undamaged. After cleaning the O-ring grooves, always fit new O-rings to seal the engine cooling water space. Lubricate the O-rings with a prescribed grease to keep them in good condition. Properly clean the sealing edge on the engine block and check this surface for damage. If necessary, the edge can be slightly lapped using a special lapping ring. Also remove dirt and or corrosion from the central bore using abrasive paper and check for any damage. At the very least, cover the lube oil ducts in the big end bearing cap during this cleaning job. It is recommended, however, to cover the complete bearing block. Now the liner can be installed. Lubricate the liner edge with a prescribed Loctite for joint face sealing. Since the liner edge is lubricated, any dirt trapped on the sealing edge of the cylinder block can easily be removed because this edge is a dry surface. Lower the cylinder liner slowly into the engine block. Fit the positioning tools before the liner falls into its bottommost guide rim. Place the positioning tools between the two frontmost cylinder head studs. The two positioning pins then fall into two cooling water channels of the cylinder liner. Make sure that the mark M above the frontmost sensor hole is 39 degrees out of the center and that it points in the direction of the fuel pump. This position is also marked on the positioning tools. Guide the tools by hand when lowering the cylinder liner. Finally, proceed as follows. Remove the tools. Fit both clamp pieces and thermocouples. Close the liner with a cover if the piston is not mounted immediately.